Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited because I have Chriselle Lim with me. Um, you guys, she's doing so much more beauty. Um, you do so much fashion, but I feel like your beauty is really picking up on your channel. I love beauty. I think you're, <laughs> and you're so good at it too. Thank you're you. really, really good at it. And she's got amazing skin, which is why today we are talking about skincare products that have actually changed our skin, right? Yeah. All right, so I feel like we should just go like one at a time. Like, yeah, why don't, don't you do go it? first? You want me to go first? Yeah, I'll fall after you. Okay, so actually, so I say like one at a time, but I'm actually gonna go two <laughs> because it starts with like the cleansing, right? And for me, the thing that has really changed my skin is learning how to double cleanse. Mm. Um, and that starts one with the cleansing balm. I feel like I've tried a lot of cleansing balms and you would think that they're all the same, but they're not. They're not. They're not. So some do a better job of getting rid of like mm. your eye makeup especially and than others. Yeah. So I love this one from Elemis. It doesn't have like a, a strong scent to it. It actually smells really nice. It's like clean, yeah, right? Yeah, it's clean. Super cleansing treatment balm is what they call it. So I just scoop up a little bit and you can see I've, I've been using this one. This is like the third one I've gone through. It's, it looks like Vaseline. It does so look thick. like it. Yeah, it's really <laughs> thick. You scoop it up and you just like melt it into your hand and it turns into an oil mm. and you just rub it onto your dry skin and it melts everything off of your skin. So I, I love this product. And then the second product, you know, this is to, the balm is to remove your makeup, mm -hmm. but then this is to actually cleanse your skin. I've been loving this one from Natura Bassé. I feel like, you know, people don't talk about Natura Bassé enough. I've seen it before, yeah. but I've never tried it. So it's a luxury brand from Spain. Oh, okay. Um, and you can find it in like department stores and everything. Mm. Um, this all-in-one, the Cure, they call it. It's like an all-in-one cleanser. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's like super gentle. It really cleans your skin and it preps it for all the skincare that you're gonna use mm. after. Is it like light or is it heavy? It's actually, it feels like a cream when you put it on. Oh, okay. your skin and then it rinses off really easily mm -hmm. which is kind of like the key because have you ever put like a cleanser on and you feel like it's hard to remove it yeah totally this one's really easy to remove double cleansing is double I, cleansing. i'm a huge believer in double cleansing yeah it's great yeah it's great what's your first one my first one is actually kind of unexpected I, it kind of is yeah yeah <laughs> because it's a baby product it's aquaphor i discovered it when I had Chloe, she's three years old, mm -hmm. and she had eczema. So we bought this for her and it like healed, every, like her whole, she had eczema all over her face. So we put this on her face and it really just cured it. Not that I have super dry skin, I actually have oily skin, but I have like really dry random patches. patches. And I also have really dry hands. Oh, yeah. they seem so soft. No, they're very dry. Yeah. So, and I use it for my cuticles. It just kind of, and I take it on the plane too. Oh, that's smart. That's mm -hmm. actually a great product to have yeah. on the plane. In the morning, I'm all about using like glycolic acid, my AHAs and my BHAs, which are like the alpha hydroxy acids and the beta hydroxy acids. Uh -huh. I feel like everybody, as they're starting to get a little bit older, should get into using these. You can use glycolic acid um, or lactic acid mm -hmm. while you're pregnant, but you can't use like the salicylic acid. Oh, I which see. Which is like the BHA. Oh, I see. So you could actually get into the glycolic part. So you can't use this product right now. I have that. I, I stopped using it since I yeah, got some pregnant. Yeah, but it's a great product. So after you stop breastfeeding, all that, that, that kind of stuff, uh -huh. you can start using this uh -huh. again. 25% is actually really strong. So if you have sensitive skin, I would start with like a lactic acid instead first and mm. maybe, or like move into like a 10% glycolic acid. Got it. But then I would pick this up because my skin t can take a lot. I've, I've used so many different products on it and I'm getting older and I feel like this is the best way to exfoliate your skin. Baby facial. I like the name too, baby it's facial. Cute, right, and it matches you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my next one is Dr. Barbara Sturm. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of her? I, I'm a big fan. Oh gosh, so I got turned on to her probably about a year ago, not too long ago, mm -hmm. and this is the first product that I received. This is probably like my fourth bottle, maybe fifth bottle. Uh, but it's her hyaluronic serum mm -hmm. and it is literally the most moisturizing serum that I have ever tried and I'm Korean I've used a lot of serums yep. before I apply this on right before I apply my moisturizer and it just really like hydrates it and it feels really silky when you're applying it on it almost feels like slime because it's yeah, so so it. smooth and silky. Yeah, it's I feel so like good. it makes your skin really bouncy. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you and travel dewy. so much. I feel like this is a great product for traveling. Yeah, it really is. It really hydrates and kind of gives it the 
the moisture it needs. Because sometimes moisturizer, it just like, my skin eats it up. And, right. Yeah, and that's it. After I put it on, like 15 minutes later, I'm like, oh, like Nothing. I need moisturizer again. Yeah. And I'm gonna go with Sunday Riley's CEO, it's their vitamin C. I love that stuff. It's good, It's right? good. I feel like everyone should have a vitamin C, yeah. a really good vitamin C. There are like lots of bad vitamin Cs out oh, there. Really? But this is a really good one. Mm. It's a serum, and serums are always more concentrated. Yeah. And so this one, I feel like, really absorbs into your skin. And what people don't realize about vitamin C is that it brightens your skin, yes, but it also makes your sunblock more effective. Oh, I so, didn't know that. Yeah, so if you're putting on your vitamin C, it's helping to fight the free radicals, and then it boosts the power of your SPF as well. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. I have a Sunday Riley product ah, too. I love it. Not sponsored, which is like a really good product, right? Mm -hmm. I haven't used it as much because I am pregnant because um, it has salicylic acid in it, mm -hmm. um, but it's face oil for acne. Do you break out? I feel like you've got I, such bright skin. I have very oily skin. Okay. So I do break out, but I'm able to contain it. Like I know my skin well enough where I face map, so I don't use all the products all in like one area. Mm -hmm. So for this, although I'm not supposed to technically use a sal salicylic acid if when I'm pregnant, yeah. if I feel like a breakout is about to happen, I'll just get get like a little dab of it and just dab it Smart. in that area. And then I'll use a different oil for the rest of my face. I'm obsessed with oils. Like I never ever leave the house without oils morning and night. Mm -hmm. So this kind of uh, contains my oiliness, yeah. but still gives me that nourishing feeling of like having a, like an oil glow to my skin. You like your hyaluronic acid. Uh -huh. I love my hyaluronic uh. acid too. Um, this one is an HA intensifier is what they call it uh -huh. from SkinCeuticals. Sometimes I feel like I, I'm a know-it-all when it comes to skincare, but this one... Because you are. <laughs> I feel like this one, I don't know exactly like what makes it so much better. Um, I think there's a couple more ingredients in it that make it you know, it's like a boosted uh -huh. hyaluronic acid. And what I like about it, you want to feel it? Oh, the color is like a purple. Yeah. So, you know, again, in the collagen video, we were talking about like these rich, these ingredients that are like rich and deep colors and stuff like yeah. that. So it's kind of the same thing and it feels really good too. It does. And hyaluronic acid is just, you know, if you're using um, a vitamin C serum or um, just basically any kind of like a really strong ingredient kind of serum as yeah. your active serum, you always want to kind of top it with hyaluronic acid mm. because it draws moisture to your skin. Mm. And so you want to make sure you put moisturizer sure on top on. of it to, to lock, like lock it in. Got it. So for me, La Mer, I've had a love-hate relationship with them. I have always wanted to love La Mer because I know it's an incredible brand. Right. And it's La Mer. It's, yeah. you know, a very luxurious, just, you know, it's a luxury to have La Mer in your bathroom. Right. Um, but. Their original cream that they came out with, it was too thick for my skin and mm -hmm. I always broke out from it. So when they came out with the cooling moisturizing gel, like it was made for my skin. Game changer, Game right? Game changer. And I was so happy they finally came out with that because I was finally able to say I use La Mer. Yep. <laughs> it's just like a gel cream. Oh yeah. Um, it's so nice. Yeah, it's really light. It feels uh, good. It feels really nice and cooling. It has like a cooling effect. Oh, and that's good because mm -hmm. then it like depuffs your skin too. Exactly. I like it. All right, my last product is kind of like the holy grail. Everybody should use it. You should use it after you have a baby mm. um, because it's got retinol in it. So Got it. Retinol is super important in every skincare routine. Every, mm. I feel like even like in your early 20s, you should be using retinol. It just depends on like yeah. the, the percentage you're using. Yeah. So I tried a bunch of serums and I start to love this one from Verso. All the Verso products have what they call Retinol 8 in it. This one is like a slow release. You can use it every single night. Um, and you see a really big difference in your skin over time. And does it dry up your skin? But it's not drying it up. Got it. And like this serum, I'm not gonna put it on you just because it is the retinol, even though I'm sure it's fine. But like, Ugh. look how thick this is. It's a serum, but it oh, actually wow. feels like a cream. It looks like a moisturizer. Right? Yeah. And then it just absorbs really, really well. And you wake up in the morning. I always use retinol at night because it's sensitive to the yeah, sun. sun. <laughs> you know, you know. I know a little bit. You do know. <laughs> you know a lot. Um, and then, you know, you wake up in the morning and you start the day nice and fresh. Mm, love it. So this one, have you heard of this brand? Is, yeah. I discovered this brand through my dermatologist years ago. Um, I was going to her when I was like breaking out and mm -hmm. she would like prescribe me some stuff. 
um, and she recommended this for me. It's a serum that I usually put on right before my hyaluronic acid, mm -hmm. and it kind of kill. You could feel it killing all the bacteria. Ooh. Like it's it kind of stings. Yeah. I, I like that feeling. I though. like the sting too. Yeah. So it stings for like a good like minute to three minutes, and you let it kind of cool down. You feel like you're getting red, but you don't get red, it just feels red and fiery. And then you just know that it kind of like killed all the bacteria. Yeah. So for me right now, again, if I feel like I'm breaking out somewhere, I'll just get a dab of it and dab it in that area. Oh, so you can spot treat with that. Yeah, so I can spot treat with that. Uh, but usually I'll just kind of do it all over. But mm -hmm. right now, currently I'm just spot treating where I just need it. Yeah. Um, and also I heard that it's good for just like prevention, like wrinkles and all that. Which is weird because you're like acne and wrinkles. Like, yeah. How does that work? But I don't know. That's what I don't actually know. But it, you know, it probably has lots of different ingredients in it. Yeah. I have one more. Okay. It's really simple. It's the Tatcha. I love Tatcha as a brand. Mm -hmm. um, it's their face sheet mask. I think there's so many sheet masks out there. There are so many now. Yeah, there's so many. And I'm, I'm not saying like one is better than the other, but I really feel like this one is the most moisturizing and hydrating one that I've tried. I do a sheet mask almost once a night um, before I go to bed, or sometimes if I'm really tired, if it's like fashion week, I'll just pass out with it on. You know what, why not? Yeah. It's the same, like a sleeping mask. Yeah, it's a sleeping mask, and I just like skip all of this part. Yeah. Um, so Tatcha, I can't tell you why I love it more than the others, but I feel like it kind of gives it that extra glow and moisture that uh, my skin needs, especially when I'm like going on camera or like traveling mm -hmm. or whatnot. I haven't tried that one. I'm gonna have to try it. It's really good. Here, you can have this one. Oh, I have like five of them at home. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Head over to Chriselle's channel now because we shot a video for hers and it's kind of fun. It's like Fear Factor Total meets fear Beauty. Factor. Yeah, we talked about collagen. So, all the collagen food you could eat to make your skin look more plump and beautiful. Yep, it's scary, some of the, <laughs> some of the things that we have to eat yep. to get beautiful yeah, skin. Yeah, they were really <laughs> testing me in this one. So you guys gotta head there. The video is somewhere here on the screen. Um, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Chriselle's channel if you haven't already, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.